because I want to make sure. And I want to say now, welcome to the webinar, Wave Audit System. Join in the Wave, and I want to welcome everybody for coming on with me. This is a Q&A session, and we're going to discuss a little bit about Wave Audit and what's going on with Wave Audit and questions that you have. So let's get started. The first thing we want to say is mindset. One of the most important things um, that when, before we get started, I want to talk to you a little bit about mindset. And mindset is a set of belief or a way of thinking that determines one's behavior, outlook, and mental attitude. So one of the most important things for everybody, if you, if you kind of look at it, one of the most important things to start any kind of of products that you buy online or any kind of guru that you're going to be following is the mindset. You got to believe in yourself. You got to say, listen, I could do this. I'm going to do this and I'm going to take action because one of the, one of the worst things that could happen um, in, in this is not having the mindset or the belief that you can do it. And that's one of the things that I tell a lot of people. If you are actually having that mindset, then, then you know, that's where it all begins. The mindset, it begins on everything. So that's one of the things that I want you guys and gals to remember about Wave Audit or any products that you buy is definitely having the mindset. Another thing that I want you to think about when you're doing Wave Audit is the confidence. You've got to have that confidence level that you can do it. It's how you really see yourself. How do you portray when you're going to a client or you're calling a client on the phone? What kind of confidence are you giving out? Are you projecting? Are you pro projecting as being an expert or are you projecting as you're interrupting that client? One of the things that I don't like if I'm sounding a little low or if I'm sounding not confident enough, I wouldn't even bother making phone calls or talking to my clients. Definitely a lot of things have to do with confidence uh, level. And yes, this is being recorded, uh, Margaret. And uh, one of the things that we definitely want to do is definitely talk about confidence and you want to know. Another thing that you want to know before we even begin and before we even start with the wave audit and the questions and answers, I want you to know, knowing your product, knowing what you're selling, knowing what you're doing, knowing the, the, the ins and outs of wave audit or knowing your product that you're selling. Because if you don't believe in yourself, if you don't have the confidence or you don't know your product, then you're not going to get that client. But it's like a double-edged sword. It's a double-edged sword because if you don't go out there and you start practicing, then how are you going to get familiar or how are you going to get good with that product? So in the beginning, you are going to lose clients. You are going to get frustrated. You are going to go out there and make phone calls and fall down on your, on your knees. So it doesn't matter. Think of going out or making phone calls or learning the wave audit system as your dojo. You're going to go out there. You're going to talk to clients. That is your dojo. So you want to deal with low hanging fruit. You want to deal with people that you really are just call calling or call uh, cold walking up to that person because what happens is that those people you're going to lose. But if they give you the time and day, to listen to what you have to say, then you're going to notice when you are losing them. When you are losing them, that's when you say, okay, I'm going to hit the pause button and I'm going to reset and I'm going to start the game all over again. Think of Space Invaders. I don't know if any one of you uh, remember Space Invaders. Does anybody, why don't you type in the chat box if you guys and gals remember the Space Invaders? Okay, great. Yes, some of you remember Space Invaders. It's like a game. What you want to do is you want to hit that pause button. So what happens is once you know your product, that's when you start making money. And that's when things start happening to you. It took me about 22 days to start getting clients. 
And let me tell you what I did. I went to Staples and I got 100 business cards and I said to myself, I'm going to go out there, I'm going to pass out 100 business cards and I want to hear 100 no's. And you know what happened? My system got ruined. <laughs> My system got ruined because people started saying yes after 54 card hangout, handout. When I started handing out the, that 54th card, people started telling me, yes, Derby, I want to deal with you. Yes, Derby, I want an audit. Yes, Derby, let me, let me see what you have to offer. Derby, I don't want to spend a lot of money. Don't worry about it. You're not going to spend anything. All I'm doing is a free audit. And that's what you want. And what you got to do is you got to get out there. And I'm telling you guys and gals, if you get out there or you, you make cold calls or you send out uh, emails and you start dealing with 54 people, when you talk to 54 people after that, things are going to start to happen. Remember, you go to school since you are, what, six when you start in school? And what happens when you start in school? You go to go to school every day, every day, every day, all the way to college or all the way to high school. And what happens is that you're being trained to go outside and everybody gets frustrated when they don't learn something within a day or so. I get emails, Derby, this is, doesn't work. This is, I'm getting frustrated. Let me, you know what, Derp, I can't get it. And then I tell them, give me a call. And what happens? Oh, is that where it was? Oh, I wasn't sure about that. Oh, my God, it's so clear now. Why? Because when you don't know what you don't know about your product or you don't know what you don't know about Wave Audit, then it becomes frustrating. But you have to remember that you've studied all your life, every day, five days a week since you were a kid, and you learned English, you learned the craft, you learned the trade, you learned how to do English, you learned how to do math. Okay, and that's when you start learning things. So give yourself a break, at least give yourself 21 days to form a habit and know your product. This is one of my favorite persons, Zig Ziglar, and I had the pleasure of having breakfast with him before he passed away. And he says, you were born to win, but to be a winner, you must plan to win, prepare to win and expect to win, Zig Ziglar. And right now I'm listening to him, uh, The Art of Closing a Sale. And definitely you, if you have um, iTunes or you want to download, it is truly the best um, uh, recording that he has, I believe. So you want to download um, The Art of Selling by Zig Ziglar. You'll love it. Okay, so definitely learn your product. So right now what I want to do is I want to take a poll and I want to get to know you guys and girls a little bit. And let me put this in the poll. Would you, what would you like to cover? Please select one. Would you like to cover tech questions, client getting techniques, login members area, or others? Please just answer. Click on your screen and it, I will get uh, the information. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Come on, everybody. I know who you are. I want everybody answering. Okay. All right, here we go. Five, four, three. Everybody answered. Two, one. Okay, I'm closing the polls. Very good. And I want to share the results with you. 63% you want to talk about tech questions. 25% want to talk about client getting techniques. And 13% you want to talk about other things, which is perfect. Um, and we are going to be doing that. That's perfect. Okay. So now I know that you guys want to talk about tech questions and we are going to be talking about that but let me go over a couple of tech questions maybe I'll be answering some stuff uh, for you uh, with this one of the first things that a lot of people are having 
is issues logging in. What you want to do, if you're not logging in through wayboardedsystem.com forward slash members, then you're logging in the wrong area. You want to log in here and you want to make sure that you log into the members area. Now, if, if um, you're logged in, you definitely want to log out and then log back in because a lot of people, what's happening is that they're not, uh, they're logged in and they're not going to see anything. So definitely we want to do that. Type in your questions, your tech questions. Type in all your questions in the chat box while I go over all these issues and we'll go over it one by one okay okay another thing is SMTP a lot of people are having problems they're not they can't email uh, through the wave audit system they can't email uh, the clients to report and we're working on this so we could email the clients within the system what I'm thinking is that you can um, you can print out different um, you could print out you could you could um, get the report and then save as and then email the client the report that's one way of doing it and I'll show you that in a second another thing that everybody should want is to join the Google community let me tell you everybody you want to join this Google community and that's where you would uh, click the button wave audit system group okay and click on it it's the top one and you want to join the community now if you don't have Gmail or you're not logged into the Gmail you will not find the button to join the community so I'm getting a lot of emails about that joining the community that there's nothing there to log into the community so I know a lot of people in fact I think uh, Jacqueline uh, logged in today and uh, hi Jacqueline how are you and I know that you logged in and and it you know some people are having issues but it's fine you know click over here and join the community if you don't have any content in your members area then you have to log out and log back in a lot of people are not seeing their content so that has to do with logging in and out in the Wave Audit System forward slash members area. Okay. Um, what I want to do right now is I'm going to go into the Google community while everybody is answering their questions. And that's what we're going to be doing. Hold on a second before we do that. Okay. Could you see the Google community screen here? Okay, good. Okay. So what we're going to do is let's start from the bottom. Now, where you could find this, it's going to be here on the left. This is the community. And right here, you could click on different tabs so you could keep everything organized. This is additional bonuses. This is the mem members area of the Google community. Um, and this is all additional bonuses that I'm giving you. And these are the issues that were coming up. So let me start from the bottom and learn how to do an intro video. So this is an intro video that you're going to be able to record yourself and you could send it to the clients. And this is a sample that you could create your local um, intro video. Now, if you want to use mine, you could use mine, but I, they, they told me that in my YouTube, I have other things. So what I'm going to be doing, and I just remembered I'm going to be doing is I'm going to do an intro video and I'm going to save it into my Amazon S3. So I'm going to be putting that bonus into the area. I'll do that by tomorrow. I'll take care of this tonight. And uh, by tomorrow morning, it will be in the Google community as an intro video by itself. So instead of you doing your intro video, you could say, this is my partner. And uh, you could send out the link so they could see the intro video. And who's ever interested, they're going to hit reply on your email. And, uh, and uh, yeah, that's how you can get clients. So I'll do the work for you, no problem. And that is a bonus I'll throw away uh, for that. What do you guys think? 
Oh, Denise, you like that, huh? <laughs> Fantastic. Fantastic. Okay, so I'll do that. Another thing, let's see what else. Okay. Over here, okay, this over here on the right, this is my LinkedIn. Click here to the LinkedIn, and I want you to swipe everything. Take everything from my LinkedIn. It's great because I target local businesses. And what you want to do is you want to set up your success, you, you, <laughs> yourself to success. And uh, what you want to do is look at mine and, uh, yes, copy it. Uh, from there, okay? So please be my guest and take that um, so you guys can get really good on LinkedIn. And LinkedIn, it is awesome. You could probably get some golden nuggets there on LinkedIn um, for local businesses because professionals like chiropractors, physical therapy office, landscapers, I don't think they're going to be in LinkedIn. They're going to be out cutting lawns. <laughs> <laughs> but they're not going to be looking at LinkedIn. So what you want to do is these LinkedIn people, what you want to do is you want to click on their, their profile, stay there for a second, and then click out. Do not send them any emails. And what happens is that LinkedIn will allow you, will tell that person that you viewed their profile. And when they say that, they're going to be adding you and they're going to be looking at your profile to see why are you looking at their profile. It's like, what are you looking at me? I'm looking at you. And the beautiful part about it, as soon as they raise their hand, guess what? Now you're going to send them an email. Now you're going to send them the intro video link and say, hey, I saw your ad. I saw your, your, um, your LinkedIn I would love to do a free audit for you. That's it. Very simple. Don't talk about money. Don't talk about getting that client. What all you want to do is baby steps, baby steps, one step at a time. Once you get the, their attention, you send them the link. Once you send them the link for the intro video, then you want to do a free audit. That's it. Stop throwing up information about what you know, all you want to know is would you like to get an, a, a free audit? That's it. Okay. Um, super bonus time. Dropbox. Oh, over here. Um, there is 132 businesses, uh, excuse me, websites where you can put the local business in. So you have that option here. Click on my Dropbox and you can get that list. Over here is Citation Platform. This is awesome. This uh, platform and you could see the YouTube video that I've done about citations, platforms, and everything that you want to learn about how to sell Wave Audit. So it's there. Over here, Wave Audit. Um, this is your upgrade. Everybody could do whatever they want, you know. My personal opinion, if you're looking to make money in Wave Audit or with everything, I'm giving you everything here in the um, OTO. This is an extra $27, so it's in $54 you're investing, $54 to get everything. And on top of that, you have me here in the community. You're not going to lose your money. You're going to make money. You're here to make money. $54 is not $1,000. And let me tell you, there's a lot of gurus out there that they charge $1,000. They charge $500. They charge $3,000. They charge $10,000. Okay? So, you you know, you got to invest. But one of the things that a lot of people don't, that a lot of people do, does is that they jump from shiny object to shiny object. So you learn Wave Audit today. Now you're learning tomorrow some other thing, the SEO King King uh, product. Then then you're learning something else. So stop running around. Focus on one guru and grow with that guru. That guru is going to get better as days go by, and you're going to get better. So you grow and you go the same direction as that guru. So this link is there if you want it. Another thing, Gilberto's interview. This is awesome. 
uh, interview. You want to listen to this interview. This is a guy that all of a sudden, just like one of you, I, I got on the phone one night and I said, you know what, I'm going to call this guy. He was very surprised that I called him. He couldn't believe that I just called him out of the blue. And I had a great interview with him, and he asked me tough questions about the product, about way bought it, and uh, you want to definitely listen to that. And there's a lot of people with USA, UK, Canada, uh, UK, Canada, and, and Australia. Now, way bought it is for the USA. Yes, um, you can do it from UK to the USA, but right now we don't have it geared directly to the UK or Canada. My personal opinion is get um, get if you have a client that you want to do um, their their um, citations or their business websites, then over here I'm willing to give you the guy that's been working with me for the past two years doing my citations. I'm going to give you that guy and he will do your citations for you very very cheap I think that he charges like a 40 bucks no forty dollars that's right he charges forty dollars he does over a hundred and thirty um, hundred and thirty citations so definitely you want if you're in this area then I will give you that information if you are uh, you know if you have the social upgrade I will give you my guy so it saves you time that you don't have to keep looking for you know somebody in Odesk and you know you, you could use my guy and he's already trained he's broke he's housebroken <laughs> he's already trained another thing is a little bonus that I give um, about telemarketers because once you start putting in the information the citations you're gonna get the, those people the, the local businesses and the local professionals are gonna get calls left and right so I give you a little bonuses how to stop that you want to look at that. Um, also, over here is the the, the um, outsourcer that I was gonna that I'm gonna give you. So that's there. And let me see. Yeah, this was a special bonus that we were doing a mobile website here. And um, yeah, that's it. Let me get Wave it for us. Would you guys guys like to for me to go over Wave it? The whole thing? Okay. Let's go let's go with it. That let me look for it. I'm looking for it right now. Just bear with me. All right. Hey, I'm getting pretty good at this. Okay, could everybody see that? Hey Felicia. How are you, darling? Glad you're here. Okay. Um, let's take the sample ABC Taxi. This is one of my clients. Let me get his address right now. Let me look. No, just ABC. Yeah, ta ABC Taxi Dumont. Okay, good. So we're going to go here and we are going to put in ABC Taxi Dumont. So you're going to click on here. This is right here is where you identify the business. So you control, paste, do not type it in, control, copy, and paste it because what you want to do is you want to make sure that you have it exactly how it is online. If you don't do it these, the exact same way how it is online, guess what? You're going to get not the same results and you're not going to, you're going to say, oh, I know they have Facebook or I know they have this. Why isn't it showing up? And that. That's sometimes what happens is that that's why it's not showing up. So you got to make sure that you do it the same way. Sometimes it just doesn't pick it up. You know, you can't help it. But remember, this is this is uh, researching, and make sure there's no space. See how I took out the space? I could take out those parentheses too. And leave out the zip code. Because what I want to do is I want to see what comes out with the zip code or without the zip code. It should be the same, but let's try it out. 
Now, one of the things that you got to realize about Wave Audit, if you have other things open, other softwares open, is going to take a while to come up. So sometimes you're going to see Wave Audit, and guess what? It's going to go on and on and on, and you're like, oh my God, what's going on? That's one of the things. When you don't have your wave audit coming up or information coming up, guess what? That what's going to happen is that it is not going to come up right away. So you have to wait. Got to be patient. But remember, if you don't have enough and um, memory, then it is not going to come up. Another thing, there was somebody else that said that, oh, I, it doesn't work with my um, iPad. This is not an iPad software this is a desktop or a laptop software so let's see how that goes now one of the things that could happen because I am in the webinar then it is taking a little longer which is there we go which is a little strange you know you got to be very careful and got to be cognizant about that okay so right now I have 53 errors and let me tell you, I've done a lot of work with this client. I did all these things, and you could see that there's a lot of information. Now, you see over here where it says not standing out? Sometimes it's going to say not standing out, which is fine. If it's not standing out, it's not standing out. In their way, for that means is that it's not a paid site for it to stand out. Um, let me see. What does errors mean? Uh, errors, um, Margaret, means that it needs to be claimed and it needs to be fixed. Uh, you got to make sure that the name, address, phone number, which is called NAP, N-A-P, name, address, and phone number is right. They have logos. They have um, descriptions set up and as much things as possible. Now, I don't understand why it says over here unverified business because everything, all the information is there. See that? So what they want you to do is they want you to go and verify it. And you know what that means? It means that they want money, right? That's what they want. They want money. Okay? And that's why when they say it's not standing out. Okay? Let me see what else. What do you um, what do you do with that not standing out? Okay, well you know what you you're not going to be paying for it to stand out. So what you want to do is you want to claim those sites and how when you claim them, claiming them means you know uh, uh, signing up to the website, doing a, a username, password, and clicking yes on your email that's how you're claiming it then what you want to do is you want to make sure that it's standing out um, and if it's not standing out like they want you to pay then we're not going to pay what we want is those free sites and you want to do as much as possible it could go from 120 to 220 websites what does the software do uh, to fix all the errors Dennis um, what does the software do? Okay, the software. Very good question. Okay, this is what we're going to do. The, what we can do, see over here where it says auto confirm the emails? This over here, what you could do is you could go in and log in to your Google, Yahoo, or Hotmail account and you could confirm it. So that means that you could confirm the emails as you are signing up you could confirm it. So over here, definitely you want to do that. Um, over here, process the client. See over here, what you want to do is if you want, let's say, Yellowbot, and you double click on it, or you want to create a business listing, you click on this, and you look for the sign-in, which is right here. See it there, sign-in? And this system will automatically, once you fill all this out on the left, this will automatically, you won't automatically, but you will click over here to pre-fill the information that is needed on that website so you don't have to type it all. Okay, so that's what you want to do. Now, these are all the ones that you want to claim. Now, let's say, for instance, not all of them show up. 
right? So what you want to do is you want to go from here within here and click on it and it will come up for you. See? And then you sign up over here. Now this is for Yelp uh, businesses, the little golden nugget. Over here you do not sign up if you're a business or you're working with a business. See this little thing up here where it says um, go to Yelp for business owners? This took me months to find this little bugger. And uh, I don't want you to making that same mistake. So definitely you want to sign up from here when you click it. Then what you want to do is you want to sign up. And this is for the business. You find the business, then you claim it. Okay, and this is where the Yelp goes. Okay. Yes, absolutely, Margaret. Verified or standing out. Not verified, but standing out means, uh, yeah, you got to pay. <laughs> So remember, you could click on these and you could get all of them, all the businesses that you want to sign up. See, join. You want to join and you want to claim those pages. Okay. And uh, so everybody knows where the process the client and then the auto confirm emails and then email your client. Now, this is where the SMTP begins. You cannot work with this I am working on emailing your clients the PDF right because right down here the option panel this is where you sign into your SMTP which is let's say for instance your Google or uh, excuse me your Gmail account you got to put your name your password senders email which is going to be uh, whatever, whatever email um, it is you're signing into if it's another client um, email you want to put that email you want to sign in with that clients email not your own okay and then the SMTP settings that's what we're working on I don't know why it's not connecting and that's what's happening it's not connecting with that so it's not going through so we will take care of that okay No, um, Felicia, not all of them are paid sites, but these are all the citation sites that we're used to claiming, but all, almost all the sites, they want to make money, and if you're willing to pay for it and make it stand out, then absolutely, you know, they're not going to say no if you want to pay some money, but yeah, most of the sites are paying, paying the sites. Uh, Margaret, I think I answered how to claim them. Um, and uh, are you clear with that? Please let me know. These are free listings, but of course, if you want to claim them, you can claim them. And claiming them is to sign up for that website. Let me see. Super pages. You're going to see a join now. See sign in or join. Add your free listing. You could add it, and that's how you claim a page. Hey, Tony. Hi. Okay, have there been any updates to the software since the initial release? No, not yet. The only thing that, that I had thought is there was a couple of problems with the resolution, how big it is, and, and I made note of that, that you know I was making a couple of mistakes about this because it was way too big for my screen, and I wasn't able to see the whole wave audit system, and we took care of that. It's through the the resolution that's the only thing the only thing that's wrong uh, with this system is this the SMTP anything there's nothing really else wrong with the system wave audit is working very well and remember wave audit it is a tool to get your foot in the door um, and we're gonna be talking a little bit about more about that okay Felicia yes you know what this over here it's going to, it, this is the social upgrade. You're going to get the social upgrade, which is over here. Now, let's say, for instance, you want to email this report to a client. You click here. See the middle one? That's a button, too. Now you could save the PDF in your desktop, and that's how you do it. That's how simple it is. You save your PDF, save it replace it of course I had it and now you have your beautiful report there that you could send it to them okay the social aspect that is the social aspect here when you click on it 
Now you're going to see, like over here, I added in a Google Plus, Google Page, a Google Map area, and it's going to come up. Twitter, I don't have. Facebook, I do have. So I don't know if it's going to pop up. Maybe it will, maybe it will. You know, with Facebook, it's kind of funny. It doesn't pop up most of the time. And I know I have a Facebook, and I set up a Facebook for this ABC Taxi in Dumont, but it still doesn't come up. I don't know why. So this is the social aspect uh, of it. Now, if it continues doing this round and round and round with the hourglass and it doesn't show up anything, that means you have nothing there. So all you have to do is close it. A lot of people just saying, hey, this is going and going and going. Yeah, it's searching the internet. It's not finding anything. So you see how quick the Google Plus, Google Pages, Google, all this came up? Fantastic. It came up really quick, right? Right, because it found it. Now, nothing else is coming up. So it's it's just going to keep on going, and it's just searching and searching and searching. So definitely you want to exit out, and you'll show the client exactly you know the social aspect to that in fact it's still it's still going <laughs> so that's one of the things so you can leave it go or you could just exit out of there okay if you want to check uh, upgrades just click here and it'll show you if we have any kind of upgrades and it'll be right here okay so with the SNTP I will definitely let you know with that. People, when when they want to get a free audit, what, what I would do for a local business is say, hey, would you like a free audit? Let me tell you a little bit about a free audit. A free audit is knowing what's happening in the internet about your local business. I would love to do a free audit for your local business to see what's going on on the websites, on the internet. What I do is uh, it takes me about two days to do a free audit for you. When could I set up an appointment to see you? What does a free audit mean? It means business websites like Yelp, Yellow Pages, Super Pages, Manta, uh, Super, um, all the business citations. You know, all the bit. I don't. I wouldn't say business citations. I would just say business website pages or business websites um, like Yelp as well. Um, and then uh, on top of that, we're going to check if you have Facebook, YouTube, Google Plus, Google Pages, Google Places, Google Maps, you know, things like that. And what we do is we check and make sure that you are dominating your local area. So I don't know if I could help you. And that's one of the key words that I like to say is, I don't know if I could help you, but why don't I do a free audit? And then we'll talk in about uh, 48 hours. Why don't I see you at this time? Remember, everybody, you want to set up an appointment before you walk out that door because they won't answer the phone. They're not going to be um, talking to you. Uh, you're going to be an interruption. If you got their attention, set up the appointment right then and there. It's very important that you do that. If not, you're going to be very frustrated and you're going to be very disappointed because you're not going to be setting up appointments. You want to set up the appointment before they tell you, yes, I'm interested in the audit. Let's set up an appointment and I'll see you then. One of the things that I would do, Margaret, that's a real, you know what? You're asking very good questions. My personal opinion, in fact, there was a, uh, one person in the Google community that he did 10 audits in, in front of them. What The best thing to do, what I would do is do the audit right in front of them if you want, or you would do it online with them. That's one of the best things around so they could see how the software works, and then you could give them the presentation because at least they see that you're using a software to find out what are they doing um, with their with their uh, uh, with their business, so this is a tool to get your your foot in the door. It's not the end all be all, but really the the tool is so you could get their attention, so you could sell them some services. Oh my God! You know what, Michael? That, that is so funny. Do you have an office? Laughing out loud. Always oh, see you in the car. That's true. You want to know the truth, everybody. Um, a couple of years ago, I was down. I, I was down and out, and I was almost homeless. 
okay I was down to my last $35 and if you look in the YouTube's or you look in the in the videos that I that I uh, did in the earlier age and in fact even now because I'm so used to uh, being in my car because it, it really makes me focus on what I'm doing the work that I'm doing I because if I sit down in my house then I'm gonna go to the bathroom I'm gonna drink water I'm gonna eat and what happened is that my office was my car in fact the internet um, the internet was Dunkin Donuts for me because I had no place to go I was down to my last thirty thirty five dollars I had lost everything in fact I gave away all my clothes uh, most of my clothes I gave away my furniture everything that I've owned that I owned and I had to start from scratch and I got into the internet business and I started doing uh, Facebook pages and I started little by little going up the ladder with local businesses that's why I love local businesses um, because yes you know I, I was um, I made of I've made a lot of money with local businesses in the last two two and a half years and I'm telling you this is golden nugget now from the last thirty five dollars in my pocket to a hundred and fifty thousand dollars in my pocket in a year years time so you definitely want to um, treat the local businesses right and if you give them a great deal then they're gonna be with you years and years to come in fact I just went to the pizzeria and picked up my 90 bucks I pick up $30 a month to run a Facebook page for a pizzeria this is the last two years I've been doing that and I don't do much I do spam control I keep it in my server you know I keep it uh, controlling that page for the guy and every three months I come and I pick up free pizza and my ninety dollars and, and it's great because you know the local businesses if you're willing to give them the service that they want and run when they call you then you, they're gonna give you money because you are giving them a convenience and uh, yes okay let's move on I hope I was clear with that but yeah I, that's a whole nother story with everything that happened to me but um, we're here now and we're making we're, we're together <laughs> okay does um, okay what do you mean um, Felicia does he do citation manually who does citation manually please be clear with that what if the client doesn't have an address but works out of his home that is a great question Jacqueline that is a great question um, that means that's going to be a salesperson that does not have um, a brick and mortar place. Two things you could do: you could either work with that person and set up their platforms, which is Facebook, YouTube, Google Plus, Google Pages, uh, website stuff like that. But you're not going to be setting up um, the business pages. It's not; they're not going to come up unless if they have an LLC. You make them; uh, they should register their house as a business once they do that then you could claim pages and create pages for them so they could get that benefit because then they would have like 220 sites you know pointing to that local salesperson or local business owner so yeah um, it's gonna be kinda hard but try to stay away what I want you guys and girls to attack is Low, um, chiropractors and I keep saying it. Uh, there's money to be made landscapers chiropractors physical therapy offices um, diners diners is a home run it's a golden nugget in fact I charge a diner three hundred and thirty five dollars a month in and I've done everything for him and the other day he's like Derby what why am I paying you I said you're paying me because I come here once in a while I come here I sit down and I give you ideas I give you ideas I super connect I'm a super connector I connect with you with the right people that you want um, you could ask me any questions when you work on your your menus and all different kinds of things you know you're here to talk to me about it and me to give you ideas so basically he's hiring me now for an advisor 
and he pays me $335 just for me to be there with him because a lot of people, and this is one of the things that I sell them on, is I tell them, listen, you're not going to talk to your workers about your business. You're not going to talk to your wife or husband about your business. You're going to talk to me about your business because you know what? I'm going to listen. We're going to give each other's ideas and we're going to go forward. And that's why I'm there because that you're going to need somebody to give you advice. And you know what? He's paying me 335. He said, "Oh, okay. No problem." Okay. Okay. Oh, hell yes. I got a hell yes. <laughs> Good. All right. We got eight minutes um, because I want to be respectful of your time. My God, you guys are okay. There's n Stop with the questions. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go through this really quick. <laughs> no more questions. Hold your questions. Let me see the whole point. We don't understand how to use it. What do you mean you don't understand how to use it? Remember, the Wayboard it is a tool to find out the top 50 sites. It goes through hundreds and hundreds of websites. The top 50 sites um, is going to show up. Sometimes it shows up less because maybe they don't have a lot of um, uh, citations out there. And what happens is that you know it, the things that show up, what you want to do is get their interest. Definitely get their interest. What if the business name and um, what if I don't know the zip code? Don't worry about the zip code, Margaret. Um, you know, it, it, as long as as long as you put in all the other stuff and make sure it's the same as the internet, because if it's not, it's not going to show up. Remember, you are gathering information, but it's got to be kind of the same thing. And if it's not, then that's going to be a problem. The way I do it is an offer nineteen dollars. Okay, Michael. Um, the way I do it, it if uh, I offer a nineteen dollar Facebook business page, okay, forty nine dollar Gmail, Google, social media audit. Do you charge this? Um, Social, do you charge it before you get hired, or is this uh, the service that you're creating, Mike? Be a little clear on that. Okay. Margaret, are you in the Google community? So just uh, answer yes, Google community, or no, Google community. Because I think you you definitely want to look at the videos because I have um, <laughs> Dennis no more no more questions. <laughs> if the prospect isn't very savvy about the things that I and ask by the things and ask if hiring me make a difference in the business getting more clients or phone calls whatever what do you say to a guy like that if they're not savvy the the best thing to do is that you want to make sure that you ask them listen do you want to dominate your local area if you want to lo dominate your local area in your category then let's start um auditing and and claiming these business pages and setting you up online and of course it, it it costs money on a monthly basis, and it lets you um, ask for monthly money. It, you know, between a year or two years, you could ask for monthly payments. Um, you could, it depends on the client or the local business uh, how much you're going to charge them. You could charge them whatever you want, but be comfortable in charging them. I, I know a 71 year old guy that is charging 150 dollars a month guess what he has over 150 businesses charging 150 dollars a month so if you're if you want if the person isn't savvy and and they want to uh, make sure that they want you to they want to hire you that's fantastic remember you don't want to make anybody you know you don't want to high pressure sales sell them because if not they're going to drop off what you want to do is find out the people that get it 
the people that want to do it and the people that are going to be sticking with you for about a year or two. And remember, always say it's a minimum of 12 months. You want to make sure over and over again, tell them it's a minimum of 12 months. And of course, in your credit card authorization form, you're going to have underneath there that it's going to be a 12 month agreement and that they're acknowledged and they're aware that it's a 12 month agreement. In fact, in your social upgrade, uh, I have I have the credit card authorization form is in there. Yes, uh, Margaret, you're not doing what you're doing is you're using Wave Audit to show the local business or local professional what they need to be fixed online. Once you show them this, then you want to they were going to hire you on a monthly basis so you clean these pages. Um, and little by little, you're going to see how the system works. The Wave Audit system is to get your foot in the door. Then what you want to do is you want to offer them a service to clean these pages, okay, and fix it for them. And uh, that's all you want to do. And uh, let me tell you, I have fixed and cleaned a lot of businesses. In fact, I have a lot of businesses right now, not a lot, maybe about 15 to 18. I had about 27 businesses, but right now I have about 15 to 18 because I'm just busy doing other things online, uh, but it is great and I can't leave it. In fact, I just hired two guys to make phone calls for me to get me local businesses online. And in fact, I'm willing to give them for every business that they get me $300. Why? Because I charge a setup fee of $792 to set up for them, you know, set up the Facebook, YouTube, Google, and all this stuff and the designs and the themes and everything, guess what? I charge $792 plus the monthly fee of maybe $297 or $397 or $497, depending, depending, you know, that business and what we negotiate. But I'm going to, I have two salespeople that are going to be calling and I will keep everybody up to, you know, up to date on that. And in fact, if, if they do very well for me, then I'm going to be offering them to you. But first I got to test them out. I got to make sure that they're good. I want to make sure that they could get me business because I want 30 local businesses from them. Once I hit my 30 local businesses, the next person that I'll give them to, it's going to be, it's going to be a, a line, then I'm going to give them to you. And you're going to give them $300 for every business that they get you. They're going to get you 30 businesses and then we move on over and over again. That's why you guys want to prepare because as I grow, as I get better at this, then I'm going to pass this knowledge on to you. So I want to make sure that everybody knows that we are working to make things better. And if you stick with me, I guarantee you that I will give you as much as possible. I'm looking to grow and I'm looking to have you as a client for a long time, okay? And I'm gonna be sending out emails for different ideas, things that I know that we're gonna make money on, I'm gonna send it to you in the email. If I know that it isn't gonna make money, then I'm not gonna send it to you. I'm not gonna send you an email to sell you an affiliate uh, um, program that is not gonna be the same direction that we're going. If not, I won't do it because I value you as a client too much. Um, and I don't want to lose you guys. I want to keep you guys and I want to keep growing. <laughs> That's right, more shiny objects. Okay, it is the top of the hour. It's a little bit over 8.03. Please, I want to see everybody joining the community. And I hope this was helpful. I'm here for you at all times. And I will do my very best to give you the best service around. And I hope this was helpful. I want you guys to have an awesome night and I will be putting the replay on by tomorrow and I will email you um, where to go to see the replay, okay? I will email you tomorrow. Thank you so much and I hope you guys got value out of this and that's all folks and thank you so much for joining me on 
this journey. Have a great evening. Bye-bye.